Hello, Justin. Hi, Ross. How are you? I'm finer than frogs here, split four ways and sanded down. Excited to talk about dead cells, which is all I've been talking about for a week anyway. I know. It seems like everyone's been, uh, well, pretty much me. just you. Just I, me. Yeah, just I, me. I hadn't heard about this game until you mentioned you were playing it. And uh, it is basically, it's Dark Souls, right? It's 2D no. Dark Souls? No, not really. It's it's more like a roguelike Castlevania kind of game uh, that's a little more fluid, I think, than than Castlevania has been classically. For my money, it's a little faster, and um, I just think the the, the combat mo moves more fluidly. Um, the real hook, I think, is that you've got a ton of different weapons, and every one of those weapons feels really different. Um, so it it. <clears throat> It's just great, Russ. I just love this <laughs> game so much, and I, it's hard to talk about, but I really adore it. Um, you know what it reminds me of in terms of the movement? I was I was uh, reminded of Mark of the Ninja. You ever okay. play that? You play that game, Mark of the Ninja? Yeah, yeah. I I think that that's not a bad comparison. Um, the what I mean, the, it's one of those things where like, if I tell you the concept, it really doesn't do it justice. You really have to like pick up a controller and play it because it's so it's just so smooth um and and it's really cool how every weapon you get really forces you to evolve how you play um for example uh there's a sword that causes enemies to bleed so if you get that you'll want to make a few oh, hits fuck. and kind of get get away <laughs> that's not great Russ. no I was getting fancy. Uh, there's a weapon that coats enemies in oil, which is pointless unless you have fire attacks, at which point it becomes devastating. Um, so there's a lot of stuff like that where it, it, it is constantly forcing you to, and you get these the, those bonuses like does damage to burning enemies, stuff like that, are all random. So it's kind of always forcing you to change how you play and to, and to update your sort of style. Oh, my, this is my favorite weapon here is the electric whip. Okay. This is the farthest it. I've gotten using this thing. Uh, have you beat this first stage yet? I have, I have. Okay, good. So, well, we'll wait till we get to that point to see. So you've abandoned your sword, um, which is good, because that... Whoa, God! Fuck. I'm just chilling, huh? <gasps> Got grenades, buddy. Oh, yeah. Don't forget. So those are just on a cooldown, but essentially I have infinite grenades. So yeah, long as basically. The cool now, that shield guy's going to keep effing you up until you... Uh, my advice would be to roll past him. I mean, uh, there's you, dudes all over the place. Yeah, but you are, you cannot be hurt while rolling. Oh. Um, you could jump too, but I, I find that you will usually have- There you know, we go. Yeah, 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 exactly like that. All good. Um, the roll is really powerful and important in, in the game. You, you use it to close distance on enemies, um, to get away from them. Russ, I don't know why you're still opening doors. Because it sneakier. It's, there's nothing sneaky. Also, about. we get to see the lighting. Check that lighting. Yeah, very cool. The whole thing looks fucking like great. that's some real time lighting right there. Um, I'm not crazy about the frost blast, but it's probably better than your wooden shield. Yeah, um, F that wooden point. shield. Uh, I so these, this here's a door where I can spend money. I don't have enough money, but if I could, I could you, open it. You do. You do. You do. You do. Oh, it's only a thousand. I thought it was ten thousand. Um, mm. Do I need another bomb though? Probably not. Well, I mean, it would double your. Right now, you have a, um, you have a, it, you could have two bombs. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, sure. Why not? You have two of those sub, those slots. Now you see, it's got 175 percent damage on burning enemies. If you create some fire, uh, find a fire weapon, you'll be in really good shape. Uh, yeah, the electric whip is cool, but it's not super high on the damage uh, front. Okay, I, I found a secret here. Yeah, pick that up. Well, I'm worried about these money. guys. Oh, it's just money. Okay. Yeah. Oh, God. <clears throat> yeah, it, it is low. Oh, my God. It is low on the damage. You freeze him. That's a, an easy way to deal with that guy, too. Uh, oh, I forgot I had that. There, yeah. uh, you, you do sort of get, like, a crap ton of items, like, super early to the point where it's a little overwhelming. Um, here we're sort of deciding. I, I like this. Brazen. I'm, really? I like I like bomb. All, I've got like super bombs now. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a really interesting thing about this game is that 
Uh, okay, well, let's let's take a timeout so we can talk about this part. Okay. So this is the part that is actually what you're sort of playing for. This is the uh, how you progress in the game. You can see in the bottom left-hand corner, Russ has got 15 cells that he's claimed from enemies. Those, Those are white things. equivalent to souls, um, I guess, is the best comparison. Um, but when Russ talks to this cat, instead of jumping around him, uh, you'll, you'll see. Okay, now, Russ has got 15 cells. Uh, Russ... I oh man, it's very tempting to just grab that turret because it's very, it, Russ got a blueprint for a turret in that last level, um, and that's one of my favorite sub weapons. So uh, so for, explain for explain all this because th this I still I've done this before and I still can't really okay. wrap my head around. So it. right now Russ has fifteen cells. What he's looking at are weapons he can unlock, uh, which will just add them to the rotation of items that you pick up and weapons that you can upgrade. Uh, if you press the Y button, you'll hide the ones that you can't get uh, that you have to unlock over time. Okay. Um, so the, the, they're in different categories too. These are the weapons he can get. These are the sub weapons he can get and upgrade. You could upgrade those three, or you could unlock the turret. Um, these upgrades are permanent, so if Russ dies, uh, he'll get them back. In the upper left hand corner there, you can see two really good ones. One's a healing potion. Uh, that lets you recover your health mid stage, and the mm. other is a sack that lets you get some of your gold back when you die. So, um, uh, but in terms of the blueprints, like, so how do I? Let's say I spend money on this horizontal turret. Do I then get the turret the second I respawn? Like, if I die? If you it, no, it's just added to the rotation of weapons that you can get. So right oh. now you'll only get an ice grenade, a regular grenade, or a flashbang. Got it. But if you buy that then you'll get one of the, then it'll be added to the rotation of things you can get. Um, you will also, when you unlock a new weapon, you get it immediately. So, uh, which, which would be really good, especially as hard as you've gone on skills. Um, that would be a really good okay. pickup for you. So, uh, and it, and I also think it's just really fun, especially if you want to play a little more casually. Now you can see up there, what Russ has unlocked is oh, starting upgrades. Awesome. So he will no longer start with the, crappy shield or crappy bow he can upgrade it so he starts with a good one uh instead which but helps I don't, things but i spent all my cells so oh so yes. they gave me the turret so i'm yes. gonna replace the crappy grenade with that right good and pretty much that's all i can do right now yeah yep uh i guess can i get refills on my healing potion right there oh look at that and as you upgrade that, you can take more health flasks in with you. Um, cool. Four so that's the Estus right flasks, if you will. Exactly, yeah. So there are elements of Dark Souls there. I think it's definitely lifted some of that DNA. Uh, it but... feels like Dark Souls. It feels like Rogue, Galax Rogue Legacy. Mm -hmm. um, it feels like uh, Symphony of the Night a little bit. Yeah, I just think the action feels much even. I love Rogue Legacy, but I think the action feels a lot better. Yeah, I totally agree with that. Uh-oh. What? Look, you got a blueprint up there. Yay. Now, you want to hear something wild? I've been playing for 20 hours. I've I've never found that. It's <laughs> cool. It's because now, I played a lot of Donkey Kong Country. Oh, Russ God. To make it to the end of the stage alive. To get uh, that blueprint. To get that blueprint. Okay. He's going to have to be, get smarter about spikes if he's going to do that. I'm already very smart about spikes. All right. He has a little... These uh, levels have a really cool design where there's sort of a main... Oh, God. Out. Oh, boy. Oh, don't boy. Your, nope. Yourself, B. Buddy. Shit. <laughs> there you go. Oh, that's yeah, awesome. Yeah, that, buddy. Um, Hell yes. Those, uh, as you progress, there's sort of a main critical path to each level, and then there are these sort of, like, you could just keep going to the right and get to the end of the level, but then there are these little, like, diversions downward where a lot of the goodies are. Um so you'll oh. you'll want to sort of fully oh god this that. was a mistake i made a huge right. mistake you're okay. doing okay uh you also have like a slam attack russ yeah exactly see that's what i love about the turret is if you get into a bad scenario you can throw yeah, drop it and, it and peace out yeah and and not even sweat it man oh did like that I throw a turret down there and deal with those fools oh boy and then that's their problem yeah oh that's wicked yeah and you'll get like, uh, there's an up, there's some stuff up there you might want to check out. I don't know. It's you, you're playing this game. I shouldn't, I shouldn't give it. No, I am playing. Oh, there's a secret in the wall. That's the thing I like about the whip is that it locks onto wall secrets. Yeah. Very, very handy. Okay. 
But sometimes now, I get one thing I didn't realize sassy. until late in the game is, um, heck yeah! Oh look, look what it does now. <laughs> what? Yeah, use your whip. Oh, yeah. crazy! Eat that. Does that uh, hurt me? No, no, yeah, no. Just, just throws an extra grenade. Cute. <laughs> um, and the uh, uh, if you attack enemies when they uh after they've attacked you you'll see that your health bar is sort of like orangish right after yeah they attack. you can get some of that health back oh can... okay so that's uh like bloodborne did that mm -hmm. and the game does not say that explicitly but oops and the nice thing is it drops these checkpoints like everywhere so you don't have to no t rest jesus <laughs> don't do this twice i see what you, you mean almost never have to do that twice yeah you okay have to do but look how good i was doing i, I nailed yeah, it all no, the time right it's good practice for yeah. sure um oh more skill power oh, and your 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 decision to invest in skills is i don't know this is what i'm saying that. turret rock and roll baby it's like it's op a little bit but um also get in the habit by the way of pulling both of those triggers at once Okay. Uh, there's no reason to sit on them, especially with your skills as high as it is. When you upgrade your skills, it uh, lets you use those skills more frequently oh in addition to making them more Justin, powerful. did I break the game? Did I win? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, we'll see if you can get out of this level with that cool new assassin's dagger. See, Russ has decided to jump down even when he's got a turret that he could just, like, take care of his light work. Yeah, but it was way more badass when I jumped down. I was like, oh, Batman. No doubt. There's no one watching this stream that's not like, I love you, like, Russ. Like, that guy's toast. Uh oh, yeah. oh. Nope. That's good. You took care of the door before the bad guy. That's excellent. How do uh, I... Yeah. Um... The other thing about destroying a door that I like is yeah. that uh, if there's an enemy anywhere close to it, they get stunned. Oh. So it, it's, it's an advantage to get in the habit so of doing that. It's good that. to save them then. I don't like that guy. What's that guy up to? Oh, God. See, I don't really get the, like, line of sight of some of these dudes. Like, how could he see me through two doors? It very... Yeah, line of sight, they don't... They, they can see you pretty much whenever... Now, you're not gonna... So, there's a path down there you can go if you want. I'm gonna. Um, you're gonna do it. Okay. Why not? Ah, cool. Oh, Oh, so that's, that's yeah. for speed runs, essentially. Yeah, if you're if you're like it incentivizes like blazing through if you want to play that way like it, it gives you a bonus for playing that way That is wicked uh, Oh look at this we've got scroll power was that just weapon? Oh, no, we get to pick hell. Yeah skills <laughs> You better just get like super grenade happy uh, That guy it didn't demonstrate because there wasn't anybody nearby. Yeah, but, uh, he uh, he creates force fields for nearby enemies, um, so he's like top priority. That's right. Just come on back and check out Russ's homemade turret. He made from spare parts lying around his house. I mean, <laughs> hello! <laughs> it's so satisfying. Um, yeah, do you know really who good. made this game? I actually hey. don't. I don't. I don't oh, know. I'll the, look it up. You keep playing. I'll yeah, look. I don't actually know the team, but it's like way more polished for an early access game than I would normally yeah. expect. Um, Motion Twin. They've been doing browser and mobile games, but this is their first, I think, legit uh, game. Yeah. That seemed dangerous. They're they're a big they're a big deal though. Apparently. <laughs> They've been around since 2001, but oh, good for them. This is the first game of theirs that I have I have played. How do I get them to make this game for Switch? Because holy crap, I would just play a ton of this on Switch. How do you think I'm doing so far, Justin? I've played Pretty like good. I cannot support your decision to upgrade your skills to level five. <laughs> um, I believe if you venture any further, that's about to uh, come to roost. But uh, that's your call. Oh. Mm, this is not good. Now, I honestly, it, I think you will die if you don't bounce here, but that is, it is your call. Um, elite enemies are savage, and okay. once you get past, ha once you get them down past half, half health, they can teleport, and they will follow you to the end of the stage if need be. Oh, that's not very nice. I you. don't, explain these to me. Tickle. I want to tickle this thing. Uh, you will get an item that lets you use those to activate shortcuts. Where do I get that item? 
Uh, you'll get it sort of naturally as you play through the game. Oh, okay. In fact, I think you're about to demonstrate for our viewers exactly how that happens. Presuming you don't die. Be careful, Rust. Oh, God. Kick his ass, Seabass! Ah! Is he dead? Nope. Oh, yeah. What was that, Justin? Yeah. What was that? No, you did it. You did it. I'm proud of you. And is it because I spec'd properly? No, no. It's your <laughs> wild min-maxing style. <laughs> <gasps> Vine room. Oh, awesome. Cool. So now I can tickle that thing. Oh, dope. So every time I die now, I still have that ability. Still have that. Sweet. Let me just see if I missed anything. So what that'll do is um, uh, gradually in that er in the early stages, um, there you'll have found all the blueprints they offer and also you know, the cells you're getting won't really be enough to move the needle. So you can sort of bypass them with that. Oh, cool. You, using those and go to like harder stages. The trade-off is that you will be um, underpowered because you skipped the part where you level up yeah. and get new upgrades and stuff. So, uh, so it's like I said, it's a trade-off. Now, you're not going to want to do anything until you get the hair. See the force fields? Yeah. That's what I was talking about with that cat. You know what's weird, though, is that I seem to be crushing them no matter what. Well, it, it's a range thing. So if they get away from him too far, if you can trick Also, I think the like, electric whip might deactivate this, the force field. Oh, that would be interesting. <laughs> uh, I do like playing these sorts of characters where you just hang back and like let your pets do the work. So this is yeah. working out really well. You can see though that like the, the trade-off is your whip is doing basically nothing at yeah. this point. Like yeah. if you don't have that, uh, you're you're sunk. Uh, ooh, be careful! It's some tricky jumping. I played Super Meat Boy. Boosh. So I should mention that I'm getting some per performance hitches, but I think that's because I'm streaming and playing the game at the same time. Um, when I was playing without streaming, it was actually a lot smoother. I don't know how visible that is on stream, but just something to keep in mind. It's actually extremely silky um so i don't yeah, want to it, take that away the animation is just beautiful and super fluid i think the um the shields also have a minimum like or a maximum amount of damage Probably. to the point where i think my uh turret is so fucking badass that uh it's just like cutting right through i don't know why i jumped down there he doesn't even know what to do he's teleporting all over the place I love that uh, little, like, death barrel that they come out of. <laughs> enemies are also interesting because they're so varied that, like, by themselves, they're usually Ooh. not that dangerous. Yeah. But they pair in ways that are, like, can be really scary. Huh. Oh, I guess that's a roll situation. Yep. Okay. Go ahead, meat boy. Yeah, buddy. End of stage? Yeah, buddy. Oh, I'm doing so much better than you did, right, Justin? Uh, you're yeah. doing great, actually. This is really a good sewers. run. You got 24 cells. That's gonna be great. Oh man, the sewers. This is this is like uh, Fez. Now you won't actually be in the sewers yet. What? First, between every. Oh stage, right, we, we, we right right right. Yourself. We get this badass. And refill your flask. Love this guy. Um, so what are you thinking? Okay, so we got the. That's unlocked from now on, but we're not going to really spend. How much? Do I, I it's have 24. It's not unlocked yet. It's unlocked when you. Yeah, but I don't have to recollect the. Blueprint, right. Blueprint. Exactly. Right. Um, That's what the red doing. sword does bleeding, puts bleeding on your enemies, which is neat. Um, yeah, but the, like, looks like that doesn't really fit with my current. That's true. Setup. Uh, maybe the five to get a little bit of gold back. That's probably. Yeah, worth it. I think that's a good investment. Okay, so I've got 19 left. Um, I... you, my, you love that thing. Might as well finish upgrading it. There we go. And what does that say? What's that little, like, gem icon underneath it? Does that just mean it's up, been upgraded? Maybe, yeah. I don't actually know. Hmm. It, um, might be worth doing that since oh, you got it. Oh, hell yeah. I love that thing. 
Sweet. And then you got six left. It might be worth Russ uh, yeah. getting the other sword just to play with it. Which other sword? Might, if you get the bleeding sword with the six cells you have left, um, this guy. Then yeah, if you get that, then you can take away your crappy. Um, no, you won't actually be able to. Like, you can get rid of that greed shield. You're not going to use that. Um, and then you can play around. With oh, it. sweet. So, yeah. so why why am I still dropping? Um... That one has the same. Oh, uh, perk. oh, they do. Is that a random like perk mm -hmm. thing? Oh, that's very cool. Yeah, and it's cool because. Um, oh. I still got one still. I, I guess I have to spend them all. Let's throw that on something. Um, uh. There you go. Um, I didn't even need it, Justin. I didn't even true. need it. What's cool is even if you get really comfortable with a pairing, like you're feeling pretty good about what you're using right now. Yeah. But like you'll get you'll find items with perks that kind of make you want to try other things like a, a turret that poisons people and then a weapon that does bonus damage against poison enemies. So it's like, wow, that's really that's not something you want to pass up. Yeah. Um, oh, boy. That looks like Good. poison. You can't, took care of that acid. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> oh, I did not see that at all. Oh, yeah. That would have made that much scarier. <laughs> uh, I'm a little afraid that this is a trap of some sort. I've played enough Spelunky to know that Spike bad. How many bad. traps? I've, I've found one or two, but not, not classically. I don't know if I'm going to get within range of this blood sword, but... Oh, it aims up. I didn't realize that there's some. It'll uh... do a little bit, yeah. Okay. It, it has it. If you're on a slight. Oh, oh run! No. <laughs> yeah, that's a fun one. <laughs> okay, uh, let's check that guy out. So you get a little bit of camera control with the right analog stick. Oh, he is not going to be happy about that. Justin, if I beat this game in this playthrough, you're going to be just very sad. Uh, yeah. <laughs> There's a mushroom guy somebody somewhere. I'm I honestly usually try to balance things out, but it's mainly because I think using most of the weapons in this game is really fun. Um and uh so I I tend and it gets, you know, trickier as you go on. You'll yeah. find yourself in situations that like You know what I like doing, Justin? What's that? I like winning. Mm -hmm. Well, the other thing about that is, though, that sort of forces that evolution is earlier on, like, as, as you start replaying the early stages, you'll find that, like, this kind of slow approach is pretty boring because you're not getting anything sure. really useful. Yeah, yeah, so it's, there's a weapon that I love called the Rapier that, um, I mean, it's a Rapier. It's not a clever name they came up with. It's just Rapier. <laughs> uh, it, uh, where you do a critical oh, 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 attack oh. right after you roll. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, look at that. Plus one to your strength, too. I'll take it. Um, you do a critical attack after you roll, so it makes for, like, super mobile. Uh, uh... Hey, wait, there's a rune down there. Secret. Down where? Secret to your left. Oh. See that? Cool. Malheit. Got a little bit of money. The only other slot you haven't messed with yet, and it, they're harder to find. Oh, but, the necklaces. Um, yeah, the necklaces. Yeah, I found uh, a couple of them. But those are mostly just like passive abilities, yeah? Yeah, there's one that's really valuable oh, that uh, gives you an extra death. But other than that, oh, that's um, pretty cool. a lot of them are just like... Does it look like the Ankh from Spelunky? Uh, it looks like a heart, actually. Ah. Um, a lot of them like give you a... Th Some are wild. Like one gives you a third jump. <laughs> oh, crazy. Uh, yeah, one gives you... Uh, um, uh, bombs whenever you roll, which is wild. Wow, I'm moving up in the world strength-wise. Oh, hello. That looks weird. Yeah. Curse of treasure. Open me. I feel like he's going to hurt me. He won't hurt you. Oh, you're going for it, huh? I mean... Okay, that's bad. But I'm great, so it doesn't matter. It jives with your play style. I'll say that. Yeah. Ooh, a lot of gold. A ton of gold. 
Yeah, I, I always go glass this cannon. Is That's it, by the way. Where what? No question. You think this I'm gonna beef it? Die. Yeah. Justin. No way do you lift this curse. <laughs> um, those are ones where like if I'm having a bad run, like sometimes I get weapons I don't really like, and yeah. those are the times that'll open the curse. Yeah. Don't do the challenge. There's a thing down here. How do do I... that. Do that, but do, you'll be fine. But don't do the thing after. Just just activate it so you can see what it does. How do I? Oh. Cool. How did I do that? I don't even know how I did that. that well, don't go in there. Okay. That will lead you to a challenge. Oh, and like, they're like super hard. They're really hard, and I've never actually beaten one. That's how hard they are. They, well, they're all like single hit, and you lose it. And in this case, a single hit means you die. So. Yeah. Um. Okay, so I've got nine kills until I can... I love this curse system. I think it's really smart. Oh, seven. Seven. Oh, boy, Justin. Well, you can lure that dude back. Ooh, you might be able to get, get down, it. get down. Oh, yeah. Stay down, stay down, stay down. <laughs> okay. Uh, six. Oh, I can't get back up. That's a problem. Oh, I'm toast. I'm toast. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay. I wish those little eggs counted as kills. Four. That'd be great. Uh, now, if you lure those guys into here, then you should be able to get a couple more Three. <gasps> oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, two. I just want to show you wrong. That's all I want. Oh, no. This is... Okay, so that's just a jump over. What's brutal is that I haven't... Okay, so there's my two right there. But they're gonna... Oh, God. No! No! Ah! Oh! Justin! Oh, Russ. Justin! Oh, Russ. Oh. I so wanted to prove you wrong. That was brutal. Um, That was great, though. This game effing rocks. This is, like, totally up my alley. Um... Thank you for showing it to me. I'm gonna stop here, are you? I don't know. I feel like I should now. I could. Well, let's let me. Let's just take a look at like what I've unlocked. Uh, to, what are these things that are hanging? These are just like items that could just show up. Represents the stuff that you've gotten. But stuff that like could show up in the world is like random. Yeah, those are the things that you could get. Okay. Um, and as you unlock stuff with new blueprints, you'll. More of those jars will fill up. I love that they're physics objects. It's a cute little touch. What are you going to take, a shield or a bow? Let's take one more run, Russ. Come okay, on. one more run. One more run. Uh, let's go bow. Even though I hate the bow. This guy has nothing to say. I'm going to be, like, super aggro this time. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <gasps> so this starting sword that I'm using, is that, like, upgradable as well? Uh, what you'll get is something similar to the bow and shield upgrades you unlocked. Yeah. Where you'll be able to start with a random sword. Oh, that's cool. Um, which could also be, mean Oof. a whip or, yeah. you know, whatever. But, um, always some sort of primary like that. Yeah. Oh. Every once in a while, you'll get a weapon you aren't crazy about, which is kind of a bummer. Yeah. Uh, because then it puts it into the rotation. Oh, uh, I see what you mean. But, uh, like oh. that oil sword that, uh, just destroys enemies if you light them on fire, um, is usually, I mean, it's like, if you get it at the start, that's not great, because yeah. you, Oof. it's harder to get yeah, fire Yeah, to, to get the combo. Oops. Those guys are the basic starting enemy, and their main attack, like that, that that flying attack there yeah. will just devastate. Ooh, nice. <clears throat> okay, so now I gotta be careful. Now you have to be smart. It Ooh, just seems stuff. like all the systems seem very thoughtful. Like, they spent a lot of time making sure this made a lot of sense. Oh, for sure, yeah. Uh, I, I would go health this time. Yeah, right? let's go just health and make sure. Whoa, you get a lot more health. Mm-hmm. Dag, yo. Although, it wouldn't have saved you last time, so... That's true. <sighs> okay, let's... Ugh, that, like... Don't like. Oh, I, he's stunned. He's stunned. Waited too long. Oh, boy. Oh, my turret! 
I love that turret. Yeah, buddy. My favorite sub weapon is uh, there's one called the meat grinder. Yeah. That basically throws out a uh, a bunch of these like uh, spinning uh, grinder blades. On oh, the that's floor awesome. In a certain area, and they're persistent. So if you can like lure an enemy there, then you can mess them up. Flashbang seems pretty handy. Flashbang's okay, but it's got a long respawn. Oh um, yeah. So it's it's not. I don't, I'm not crazy about it, but. Okay, I'm a little more even uh, mm -hmm. spe spec this time around. What? The turret even kind of helps with that cat because it forces him to keep his shield up yeah. in, in that direction. Um, oh, I see what you mean. Gives you an opportunity to get behind him and do the dang thing. Ahoy! So does this this guy sell sub weapons stuff like that? Does he sell blueprints as well? Uh, I've never seen him sell blueprints. He will sometimes sell weapon upgrades. Like, not weapon upgrades, like skill upgrades. Yep. Okay. Not gonna get anything, huh? I mean, I wanted to get a necklace, but I don't want to replace any... Mo well, I guess I could replace the shield. I don't use shields, really. I wouldn't... I, You know, I don't think you need to do that. The only thing I would probably... In, Actually, in that case, does sound pretty would, fun. Uh, yeah, that's kind of... Explode on death. Okay. I just don't block a lot. Yeah. Um, I like to move through pretty fast. Um, I prefer the frost grenade to the flashbang, but, you know, it's your own personal... I mean, kibitz. So we got that new rare blueprint, buddy. Fire grenade, dope. Um, so I've got nine. I wanna, I'm gonna keep investing in this healing because eventually I'm gonna want the bigger healing thing. Yeah, it's really nice. Um, I sort of prioritize that. That's unnecessary, so you know. For the future, oh, is that gonna just heal me it automatically? Refills your health. <clears throat> refills your health. As well. Got it. So. I was being wasteful. Okay, we're back in the forest. Let's see if there's anything still up here. Because the two times that I've been in the forest, there has been a secret up there. I'm curious if it, nope, nothing, nothing now. See, I'm thinking now I need to get back in there and do that. Get that secret. It is interesting though, that it is like sort of a hard coded secret. Well, also the levels are randomized, so that may not be there every time. Well, it's been the two times that I've been in the forest, it was there. So I think there is yeah. some consistent shit. Maybe that opening thing is, is consistent. Yeah. Not one the carrot, huh? I guess I was thinking of saving the carrot, but it seems silly. You can actually, the, the all items that you leave on the ground uh, will show up on the map. Yeah. Um, so, which is nice because it lets you keep track of like, okay, yeah, that's I'll kind of a, that when I need that's it like more. a roguelike thing. Um, but of course, once you go through there, you can't, uh, now that bear trap might be really good for your turret. Uh, where's the bear? Oh, here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, get out of there. Okay. Yeah. That sounds interesting. So that's uh, increases damage. This is actually like, I'm playing just like a demon hunter in, uh, in Diablo 3. Ooh. Skipping a lot of stuff, huh? Well, I wanted to look up, but I guess there's really nothing up. These usually the secrets are, oops. <laughs> Oh, is that falling damage or just a stun? I think it was just a stun. It's just a stun, and if you do the stomp, then it negates it. So oh, if nice. you're gonna fall a long way, it's good to stomp. Ice grenade three. Oh, now that's a that's got a cool perk on it. What what is the perk? Uh, uh, swarm of biters. Cool. So, yeah. So w there, uh, would you say so there are like? Wait, 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 oh. wait! Don't do this again. <laughs> Would you say there are like bogus upgrades that like you really don't want at all? Um, almost all of them have their oh. place. There's ones that I like less, like. Oh, I um, love the biters. Look at them. They're adorbs. Um, Oof. there's some that I like. I like less. There's a um, 
some of the sub attacks there's one called the like phaser that lets you just like hop basically teleport um which i don't i don't use a lot um there's a sub weapon that boosts your damage which is fine depending on what style you're going with there's that flaming sword. sword i got grenade two i don't think i want to replace ice grenade well i could replace turret and go two grenades tough choice sure why not we'll go two grenades the controls are so I'm using. I'm, we're playing on the PC, but I'm using an Xbox One controller, and the controls are great. It's like that feeling of like jumping in and then slamming both triggers to like activate your skills is just very satisfying. Yeah, it feels great. Uh, okay. And what's interesting, as you're seeing here, it can be really finicky what you get. Uh, in in any given playthrough for example you're still playing with your original rusty sword yeah um which which you're gonna miss that turret man yeah that's i i, I don't think even are, are especially like pointless but once you get things like uh there's Oof. there's like a magnet grenade that holds people in place and the turret and things like that there's things like i just don't like to play without yeah like, sure i like to play with i like if i get a turret I'm, I'm like biased towards wanting to keep it hmm interesting we don't have enough money but should i walk past this and keep going uh i would prefer you not <laughs> but it's your choice Uh, how many stages are there? I think the I think an ad I saw said eleven. Wow! Um, Did you beat it? I thought you beat it. I got to the final boss. Oh, okay. But, uh, but also, it ver your path varies uh, depending on which shortcuts you take. Oh, sweet. Um, so you find levels you you wouldn't have otherwise, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, I would also say, like, I, the game is $15, yeah. which is, for what I've played so far, like, well worth it. Um, uh, yeah, especially, it's rare that I'll recommend something in early access, um, but this yeah. is definitely one of the stuff I think is, is, I have already had more than $15 worth of fun, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and I'm really excited to see the... What else they add? Um, I haven't even found all the weapons, obviously. So I, I want to check all those out. It also does a really good job of throwing you into it looks sort of impossible. Uh, and then because the controls are so fluid, it's it's easy to like, find cool things out of, out of them. Yeah, I feel like a ninja. Whoa, what up? And something that they've added in games like this are um, kind of quasi-classes, um, which are specced certain ways when they start or have different move movement properties and stuff, so it'd be cool to see if that's a route they go. Um, but this main character feels so spot on, it's hard to imagine what other ways they could do it. It's great once you get the actual, uh, using the actual whip, it really feels like it starts to feel super Castlevania, which is really cool. Yeah. Um, but I, it feels I like super Castlevania. You mean it feels exactly like <laughs> Castlevania 64 <laughs> back in the sewers. Well, that was a long, uh, okay. So we got a new blueprint flaming sword. We've got 27 cells. I kind of want to keep investing in this health, not the fire grenades, huh? I mean, you're, you know what? I shouldn't. I shouldn't be second guessing you, Russ. I know. Remember how far I got that other time? Uh, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. When you're right, you're right. So you're saying I don't need to heal? It's gonna do it for me. Yep. Here we go. That's one of those things where, like, it's a good example of where I would differentiate this from the soul's DNA is that it is just chock full of quality of life things like that you know it's very 
smart with your time yeah. and it doesn't, you know, it's not cheap and it's very thoughtful, I think, from that perspective. Like every time that I die, even if it's devastating, I always want to hop back in. It's it's even when it's demoralizing, I just want to play more. Yeah. <clears throat> and it can get pretty demoralizing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, that doesn't even freeze him. Jeez. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Yeah, I missed my turret, man. You yeah. weren't kidding. I do like that, though. Slamming down on guys feels great. Does that cause your, um... Uh-oh. Watch oh. out. I'm gonna fight him. No, I'm gonna run away. Can I just, like, chip away at him? Uh, you can for a little bit. Is that him almost dead? Or is that his little buddy? Oh, no, that's his buddy. Yeah, the elites have these minions that respawn and make things like the turret a lot less useful because they'll yeah. just absorb all those hits. Okay, I'm not going to mess with that. Whoops. Man, those mushrooms are not nice. Where is that thing? I don't even know where it is. If you go watch the oh, lightning, you'll see above. where it comes oh, from. Oh, it comes from the lightning. Got it. Very smart. Oh, my sword is terrible. Yeah, it really is bad. Secret right there. One second. I want to kill this guy. Whoa. Secret. Good eye, Justin. Yeah, Secret. you get used to it. <laughs> You're used to looking for him. Hmm, can't, can't hit the torches, huh? The only, one of the weird things about the random level generation, and I don't know if it's, it's strictly random level generation, but they are different every time, um, is that sometimes you'll get blind alleys like that. Where yeah. It's like, certainly something's going to be up here, but yeah. you know, nothing is. Hmm. Is this a blind alley as well? Oh, yeah, it is. Wow. That is just like a huge blind alley, huh? I love the animation. It reminds me of like the sort of pseudo rotoscoping. Yeah. From, like, Prince of Persia kind of yeah. game. Just the, and the, just the level of detail for stuff that like doesn't need to be there, but adds so much. Oh. Dude, oh, oh. Are these guys pushing donuts? Is that what's going on? What? They look like big donuts. Well, I think they're like worms. Oh, that's their mouth? Whoops. Dude, mm. I don't like these mushrooms. No, you can't grow spikes on yourself. That's crazy. One nice thing about that, though, is if you kill them, the spikes instantly disappear. So if you oh. think you can take them out before. Yeah. Like, literally every single time I kill one of those guys, I forget that they do that. Yeah. Ugh, still no weapons, man. Let's see, that's just a bear trap, zero. Oh, plus one to skills. I'm gonna get, hmm, no. No, I'm gonna stick with these grenades. There's a little thing. I think, oh, is that the exit? Nope, something is. Oh, there's a there's a weird mummy. I feel like that's a rune begging mm -hmm. for me to do something. Oh, carrot. Nice. I was briefly prepared for that carrot to be a trap. Trap carrot. Oops. Oh, that's not good. I don't like that guy. <laughs> Oh, 
I love my little beasties. No, I can't jump out of there. Oh no, these are the guys that killed me! Oh, this is so all sorts of bad. <laughs> roll, roll! Get out, get out. There we go. Man. Oh. Eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Let's drink up. Oh boy, rare whip blueprint right there. Can I survive? I think you can. So it looks like they already have a ranking system. Is that what that number is on the, or is that the um, seed? <clears throat> what? On the bottom, shit. On the bottom right, there's a, the, my clock. Oh yeah, I don't know. It might be the seed. Oh, he is... Jesus Christ. I am deeply concerned that I'm gonna run into, like, some sort of boss fight at the end of the... No! That is crap! I'm, like, legit tense now. I was sort of effing around earlier, but... Those days are done. I want that whip. Secret. Oh, there was a secret down there? Give me some carrot, yeah. Carrot? No, more money. See, it does start to get tense, especially when you realize like, oh man, you got 20 cells. That's that's choice. Yeah. Nice. Oh, I was kind of ready for it to fill my health too. I guess I'm not. Yeah, I think it's a percentage. So it yeah. keeps whatever percentage of health. Oh, my shitty sword. Oh, boy. Oh, <laughs> those guys, man. Oh, this is a mistake. I've made a huge mistake. Okay, all good. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> There's a secret right there. One second. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Please die, thank you. Oh, nice. eggs. Eggs. Where was the stupid secret? Did I just go past it multiple times? No, go, go left. Drop down to that platform. Oh, it's down? Oh, okay. yeah. Very sneaky. Ah, money. Yeah, you could really use a carrot. What do we have here? More money. Oh, God. <laughs> Good reflexes, Russ. Thank you. Right behind you. I take uh -oh. that. Now you're all screwed. I always got his trusty electric whip. Finally. I mean, it's not great, but... It's better than what I had. Yeah, that, that, it's especially good for those little grenade guys because they're a bitch oh. to target. No, no, that's doing acid damage. Man, I've been in the sewers for quite some time, huh? Mm hmm. Uh. Luckily, that's a much better grenade, so that's good. Okay. We got a donut guy up there. Oh. Oh, oh, oh eggs. Eggs is. Sweet. Oh. Shit. Wait, is that guy summoning those dudes, or did that just happen at the same time? <laughs> yeah, probably a little column A, a little column B. Oh, God. Gotta be close to an exit by now, right? Gotta be. Think. No. I threw bombs. Okay, one second. I gotta... Oops, see ya. Yeah, what? buddy. 
Not that good. Hey, look at that. <gasps> okay. Oh, no. No, I don't even want to mess with you. Oh, God, Justin. I don't even know how to get up there. Oh! No! Oh, shit! Oh! Oh! I've already cells in those blueprints. Rust. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> Brutal. Oh, all right. Well, that's gonna be it. Um, thank you everyone for watching at home. Uh, hopefully you dug the game. Uh, I think this game is effing awesome. Uh, it's called Dead Cells. It's on Steam Early Access. Uh, thank you, Justin, for recommending it to me because you have very good taste in video games, and I generally trust, except for. Ace Combat and all those stupid helicopter games you like. Why? Uh, and uh, yeah, thank you. Thanks, Russ. Bye. Hope you enjoy it.